Hi, welcome to our reading for September 2018. Now, remember it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs and symbols ring for you and follow those thoughts, those feelings, those memories that you get to bring clarity to what you're wondering. We are all psychic. We are all spiritual. We are all children of God, but we're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. And if you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. I hope you enjoy the reading and I'll see you in a moment. Sagittarius, welcome to our reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in September 2018. Now the random shuffle Pandora song that came through for Sagittarius was Orphelia by the Lumineers. I'll find that song and put it below for you guys. Now let's begin the reading. We're going to start with an Animal Whisper card. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our Higher Self, Angels and Energies of Love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We'll start with one card, get clarity on energies coming through in September for Sagittarius. And wow, we have the lioness coming through. So maybe some feminine energy coming through. The lioness is strong, powerful. She's the hunter. So there's some feline cat-like energy. I feel like you maybe need to conserve your energy so you're ready to go out there and hunt something. It's like you're hungry for something, but you have to adjust your scales so you have enough energy to go out into the jungle to tackle something. I just thought of a song by uh, a Brazilian singer. I think I'm saying her name kind of right, Seu. Um, I think it's called Concrete Jungle. I'll find that song and I'll put it below for you guys. Your message is protect your integrity. Be authentic with yourself. Be true to yourself. Um, maybe ask yourself some good solid questions. What is right for you and what isn't right for you? You know, what works and what doesn't work. Maybe set some boundaries in your life. Um, I feel like this is a very powerful animal coming through to help you out, um, to tackle your situation. Um, I want to say maybe a mama energy or a papa energy here, maybe taking care of something younger than you, maybe teaching something, um, teaching someone else how to fend on their own. Um, protect your integrity. I want to say stand up for yourself. Um, speak your truth. Don't worry so much about what all the gossip is, about what they all think and their opinions about anything. Come back to you, Sagittarius. Come back to your center. Get grounded. Get in tune with your own inner guidance system, your own connection to God, the universe, your angels, your spirit guides. Listen for the whispers of inspiration that come through. If you're trying to make a decision or you're unsure about something, pray. Ask for something personal to come through that's meaningful for you so you know what to do. I feel like you just have to get out there. You have to take a step. Even if it's just a small step, it's a step. Even if it's a step in the wrong direction, you're still putting your energy into something and you can figure out eventually that's not the right direction for you. And now you know which way to go. So 
protect your integrity. Um, I feel like you have your own beliefs or your own way of doing something and it works for you. Perhaps it doesn't work for somebody else. So release judgments, you know, release that energy, release those chains you have on a situation that something has to turn out a certain way, it has to go a certain way, and come back to your own center. I want to say also take a lid off of that box. Allow for the best possible thing to come through. It might not be what you expect. You know, allow the best possible thing to come through for you and everybody else. Um, I hear growing up and bouncing back. I'm not sure why. So maybe you're growing up or you have a spiritual growth spurt coming through or somebody else around you is kind of going through some changes, growing up, changing, adapting to a situation, bouncing back. Um, it makes me think of the song bounce, 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 bounce. What is that? Ignition? That's a weird song to pop through. Maybe you're putting the key in the ignition and you're going. Um, so I'll find that song and I'll put it below for you guys. Let's get clarity on the lioness. I hear the ball is in your court. So maybe, you know, you're waiting to hit the right ball, the right wave, the right wave of opportunity is coming through. If you miss, give another go. Let's get clarity on the lioness. I do feel like it's a feminine energy with the lioness. So maybe there's a feminine energy around you, a protective energy, a mama energy. Um, maybe that's you. Maybe it's somebody else. It could be just you nurturing your children, your projects, your babies, you know, your thing, taking care of something, watching it grow, being there for the changes that evolve, changing with something. So um, protective energy as well. Um, when I think of feminine energy, I think of receiving. So maybe you need to open your arms and receive something. Say thank you. Allow something to come through and help you out. That could be somebody's time, energy, advice, contacts, something like that. There's something coming through to help you out, but it's up to you, Sagittarius, to not push it away. You know, if something doesn't feel right and it feels like it's draining you and you keep taking something that's not good for you, feel free to push it away. Push that shit out of your world. But if there's something good coming through and it feels like it's nurturing you, like it's beneficial for you, like it's reviving you, restoring something, allow it in. You'll know what feels right and what doesn't feel right. Trust your gut. So let's move along. These are affirmation cards. So let's get clarity for Sagittarius. Energy is coming through in September. Clarity on the Lioness. Protect your integrity. And this is the card of the month. I'm telling you. So this is an affirmation that's good. If you watch other signs, maybe it's going to come through in your rising or your moon sign or your sun sign. But this is definitely a message for September. It's no judgment. It's releasing judgment on yourself, releasing judgments on others. Um, I hear coulda, woulda, shoulda. Maybe it's preconceived notions or being... Um, like prejudging something before you open the cover and you learn more about it. So it starts with you, you know, releasing judgments on yourself. In this card, it says, welcome to Joyville. So what is that joy for you? There's a gateway here or a center here or a stage or a change in events. And I feel like the arrow is pointing at you. You are that change. You are the catalyst, the spark that gets things moving. Maybe it starts with being the catalyst for yourself, making those changes for yourself. I'm also focused on the star. So you are the star in the situation. So no judgment is, I release myself from any and all judgments. I find my inner critic, call it to my office and tell it to take a vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and 
begin to enjoy the joy of simply being. You know, who hired that guy anyway? So stop judging something that something has to be a certain way. Release that energy and discover what is to be, how things unfold, how you will become something, how going through something brought you strength. You know, it brought you a lesson. It brought you more clarity on what is and what isn't good for you. Sometimes this is, I want to say, being in the wrong relationship or the right relationship that doesn't feel right now. And now you know it doesn't work for you. I feel like maybe something worked for you in the past. Maybe you and somebody else and things change, events happen, and now there is something different. So you have to adjust maybe the rules or how you see something, your perception on something. Um, speak clearly. Open up. Be true to yourself. Be true with somebody else. And also allow them to speak. Allow somebody else to be heard. So let's get clarity on this card and the lioness. I hear parents. So maybe it's your parents judging you or mm, you're trying to help your children and maybe it's letting your children, ch children learn by messing up. That's how we grow the most. So um, I hope that made sense to somebody. Maybe your parents were very judgmental. Um, Maybe there was rebellion or something that like that that happened, but that's okay. That's where we grow. We go out there. We do something. We learn more about ourselves, and eventually we come back home or we make our home different. We create it ourselves. Sometimes our family is our friends, you know, those we choose to be around us. So I want to say allow everyone to be the, uh, his or herself, you know, whoever they are. Um, no judgments. If they come home smelling stinky from the day, you just love them as they are. You know, you can't change somebody. You can only change yourself. You know, you can't make somebody else happy. You can't bring happiness into somebody's world. Just like somebody else can't make you happy. It's up to you. You and you alone. And eventually, when you discover that happiness, that joy, that vibration, that's what connects you to others to the right vibrational resources. And I get those with a similar vibration or um, spiritual energy. So maybe this is a spiritual energy coming through. Maybe your opinions on the world or on your situations are changing. And maybe there are friends or people falling out of your world. You don't groove with them anymore, but that's okay. You'll find a new space, a new place or a new way to communicate. You have to let others come around in their own time. So let's get clarity. Let's move along to vice versa tarot and get clarity on no judgment. And the lioness, protect your integrity. <laughs> These cards are sticking together. And it made me think of a song. It made me think of um, a weird one, Stuck, by Stacy Aricio. I actually met her once, and she's a beautiful person. I knew who she, who she was right away. I think she was surprised that I recognized her. So I'll find, I'll find that song, and I'll put it below for you guys. All right. Um, Clarity on the Lioness and No Judgment. can hear that song now. All right, let's get clarity for Sagittarius. Energy is coming through in September. And, oh yeah, all right, we have, <laughs> we have the Knight of Rods coming through. So this is, I feel like this is fire energy, and I feel like this is definitely fire energy. This is, you have the feminine energy here, but this is pure masculine energy in this card. This is the knight that's quick. He's passionate. He, I hear loyal. I feel like sometimes upside down, he can be the wham bam, thank you ma'am kind of guy, but I hear loyal. So in it for the adventure, 
for the experience, maybe for the long haul. Maybe this is just to light that fire under your ass to get you somewhere different, to get you to do something. This could be you also lighting that fire under your own ass a little bit. So I feel like, like it's penetrating, mass, masculine, moving forward kind of energy. He or she really wants to be involved in the experience. They don't want to sit on the sidelines. This is not the person watching somebody else play a video game. They're doing it. Th they want to be in there doing it themselves. They want to play. They want to play the game. So maybe there's, maybe someone's playing games with you. Uh, I keep seeing the ball in your court. Maybe it's in somebody else's court and somebody's now ready to bring it back to home. Uh, get a home run. So, um... I feel like he has an unusual, um, like, means of protection on. It kind of looks like it's metal, but it kind of looks like it's skin as well. Like some kind of weird, shiny leather. So, maybe you're breaking down the walls. Maybe you're putting on some armor of protection. Um, he has a helmet on, or she. It looks like it could be a woman, actually. So, maybe you're protecting your thoughts. Maybe you were always protecting your thoughts and it's time to take off that helmet and speak, speak up. I feel like here with this, um, I just thought of uh, Thunder by Imagine Dragons. I'll find that song and put it below. Um, there's flashes of inspiration. I hear guidelines. Um, when I see this card, I think of projects. I think of creativity. I think of doing something on your own, maybe venturing out on your own. I feel like here, someone's coming towards you, helpful, but maybe they're walking away as well. Or you're giving somebody else a mission. Maybe that's you going on a mission. If somebody's going on a mission for you, I feel like they're going to come back with that goal. Victorious. Um, riding through the storm here. You have your light. You have your inspiration. You're actually in your left hand, so you're receiving inspiration. You're connected to the horse, which is actually a unicorn. So you have a magical horse. Maybe you are teleporting through a situation. You know, all of a sudden it's over. You're through it. You're over the rough patches and you don't know how you did it, but you did. So this is usually a fire sign. It doesn't have to be though. So if it's a fire sign around you, it's usually somebody a little bit younger or feels like they're younger, even if it's an older person. So Sagittarius, um, Aries, or Leo-like energy. Somebody very passionate, very secure, very, 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 very confident. They like to flex their muscles a little bit. So I just saw a gym. You know, maybe this is somebody who has good self-care, takes care of themselves, looks at what they're eating, nutrition, exercise, um, being balanced. Um, I also want to say sometimes they might get involved with so many missions or so many projects that they maybe upside down don't tend to finish something. So maybe you're coming on board offering some instruction, helping this person finish their projects. It's like starting to paint your room and only doing half, you know, and you still have all the paint all over the place, but you have to like go to the store, get another gallon and just finish it. You know, I also want to say preparation is key. That makes it look professional. So let's get clarity on this Knight of Rods, this masculine, passionate, fiery, confident energy coming through to help you. That could be your child. That could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Um, I would say it's not necessarily a boss. This is more like somebody you work with um, that maybe brings inspiration into your world. Maybe they have really good ideas. Um, I'm getting projects, like a lot of different projects going on, a lot of different irons in the fire all at once. So maybe you come through and help them to handle something, but I mean, Sagittarius, this could just be you, you know, this is definitely a Sagittarius energy. So let's get clarity on the Knight of Rods. Clarity for Sagittarius energies coming through in September. We're going to get a card from the Angel Tarot.
and cool. We have Divine Guidance coming through, also known as the Hierophant. This is Major Arcana 5. When I see the 5, I think of change. The wheels are spinning. Now, this is Archangel Sandal Fun. Now, this could mean many different things. This could be um, institutions, schools, government, marriage, where you and at least one other person follow guidelines to make things work. Now, it's usually following the rules, but sometimes you have to break the rules or rewrite those rules so they work for you now. Um, so when the, when the Hierophant comes through, this could be you in a marriage. This could be you communicating with someone. This could be you finding, finding like-minded individuals. Maybe joining a church. I hear joining a choir. Joining something where others think like you, where they have similar values to you. This could also be very good advice. Now, when I see this card, I think of way in the past, before people could read and they weren't allowed to have a Bible. So you had to go to church and rely on the preacher or the minister's interpretation of what they read to learn the lessons of God or whatever it is you were learning. Just like sometimes you have to go to school and rely on somebody else's education to learn about something. Now, sometimes that's good, that's beneficial. Sometimes you learn something on your own through your own experience or something changes and you dive into the knowledge on your own. We are at a time now where knowledge and I mean, we can go on Google and access many different religions, different books, ancient, uh, I hear artifacts or texts, you know, and dive into that knowledge on our own. We can go on our phone and read whatever we want. So maybe it's finding something new for you that works for you. This is search for the meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach and surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So listen for that wise guidance that comes through. Um, I also always think of like the stop sign example when I see this. If there is an intersection and there's a stop sign, it's important for everybody to stop so that everybody's safe, you know, so traffic moves evenly and nobody is hurt. But if in the future or in time, so much traffic starts to go to that stop sign, you might have to put a stoplight up because the stop sign isn't cutting it. So it's up to you to look at the stoplight and there's, you know, slow down, go and stop. So I hear red light, green light. So sometimes you have to change the rules so a new situation works. So if you're rewriting those rules, adapt to the situation. You know, be clear with how things are changing. Maybe somebody doesn't understand that rules have changed. So you need to have clarity and communication there. So let's get clarity on divine guidance. This is a beautiful card. This could also be a Taurus energy coming through for you. So... Um, Let's get one more card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle. Clarity for Sagittarius. And choosing your path. So which way are you going to go? There's also a knight in shining armor here. Um, the truth, the sword of clarity, clear communication, but it's at your side. Um, you look like you're looking at the horizon, seeing the bigger picture, all is possible. So let's see what this card means. Choosing your path. All is possible. Card meaning new vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose. And within this is your freedom. Don't allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others to deter your path. Be daring. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Dance. Laugh. Explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Say yes to life. You support others in stepping into their freedom. You lead by example. 
you know maybe you need to step into this joy and head down a different path so somebody else feels like they have the freedom to do the same the sacred traveler wants you to know choose life on your terms move beyond the situation that you've over or you've outgrown sometimes to be free the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking leave the baggage behind there are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordi ordinary things aside and fling your arms into heaven, the heavens, in joy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs or expectations of others. You're here to explore. That's definitely this night. To explore, expand, and step into, into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules that's here that have been placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. All right, Sagittarius, I love you so much. I hope this reading is helpful. I hope you have a beautiful September. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.